Hello everyone, my name is Gabby. You can call me Bugebi, Miss Gabby, or just Gabby, whichever makes you most comfortable. And welcome to the second segment of Physics B3. So today we are going to talk about the inertial and earth fixed systems or frames. So first of all, we are going to talk about the inertial system. What is it? So this is basically the continuity of what we have learned in the kinematics. So in the inertial system, this is basically the most fundamental coordinate system in geodesy. And in this system, Newton's first law of motion holds. So just to refresh, um, Newton's first law stated that a body at rest will remain at rest in the absence of applied forces. Also in this inertial system, there is no acceleration, but uniform linear motion may exist. So a uniform linear motion, basically a motion that is in constant speed and has no rotation. So you might have think that this system does not make any sense because, um, you know, if there is only like a uniform linear motion, when will it end? And also a body at rest will remain at rest, but basically um, there's always the pull of gravity. So an inner system, inertial system basically is at best an abstraction in our world because you need to take into account Newton's second law which is f equals m and a in which force equals to mass and acceleration and acceleration in here can be defined as the gravitational acceleration that governs in any celestial body so even if a body at rest there's always a gravitational attraction in any of this body so if it is as best an abstraction, why do we need to understand the inertial system? That's a very good question. That is because probably some of you have been um, familiar with something that is called inertial measurement unit or IMU. So IMU uses measurements from accelerometers and gyros to produce navigational data. And in fact, these accelerometers and gyros, um, they are measured relative to an inertial frame. So in a frame that makes no sense to us, but physically it makes sense. So this is basically the schematic overview of an IMU. You've got the accelerometers and gyros in every direction, uh, in every axis actually, Y, X, and Z. And then we need to transform this navigational data which doesn't make sense to us, into a real world coordinate frames that we can understand, for example, an earth fixed frame. And for navigational purposes, we can define an inertial frame in which the frame is attached to the earth center and is in free fall. Free fall, it means that the only force that is governing in that body is the gravitational force, which is vertically down and is not rotating. So we can see this physically in our ellipsoidal model. So this is our Earth in ellipsoid. So we will try to see uh, what is an inertial frame and Earth fixed frame in this ellipsoidal. So firstly, the inertial frame, or we can call it I-frame, uh, the origin is the gravity center of the Earth. So that's basically quite similar with the center of the Earth. For our purposes, for you know, for navigation, for hydrographic surface, we can say that it's basically the same, more or less. Doesn't you know? Doesn't make too much difference. And then it has no rotation. This is the most important part. It has no rotation. And the axis are the vernal equinox, which is basically a star in the sky, a fixed star. So that's our x. Then our y. That's our x. Our Y is basically like uh, perpendicular to that vernal equinox to complete that coordinate system. And then the Z is basically the Earth spin axis. So that is our inertial frame. How about our Earth fixed frame? So if you want to, uh, to transform from inertial frame to Earth fixed frame, we've got something that is called um, a rotation that is called theta. So that's an angle of rotation. So if we transform this inertial frame into ECF frame by theta, we will have the earth center, earth fixed frame or ECF frame. The center of the earth, that's the origin. So that's basically very, very similar. But this kind of frame has two rotations. Firstly, the rotation of the earth. So the frame moving with the rotation of the earth. 
and the rotation of the Earth around the Sun, or some people call it revolution. So again, you rotate it with theta, then you've got your X in here. Because your X is there, then your Y is following you. And for, you know, to make it simpler, I just make a geodetic um, longitude as uh, C in here. So in here, I just make the latitude as 90 degrees. So you don't really have too many lines. So that's your Y. So you've got your Y and then your Z is actually parallel exactly the same with your z in the inertial frame so the only movement is just like that in the horizontal thing then you've got your latitude in here you've got your height and then you've got your position um so yeah so uh instead of an inertial frame that we cannot really understand where it is and how it looks like now we can understand it in term of cartesian x y and z or in geodetic form which is latitude longitude and height so this is how you do it. So the easier frame is defined uh, to be rotating with the Earth at Earth spin rate. So here you've got your Earth spin rate of omega e. So at time t equals zero, I frame and ECF, they are actually coincident, but as time progresses, it will be rotating because again, I frame does not rotate, but ECF, it rotates with the Earth. So you've got your theta in here, and then basically your theta can be calculated with your t, you know, every single time. And then you've got the rotation at the Earth. Then when you've got your theta, basically you can transform all of your coordinates from the inertial system into the Earth fixed frame using this rotation matrix. So this is basically important because whenever you're using IMU either in the, um, in a UV or even in your vessel, you know how it works, that it actually transforms this inertial data that doesn't make any sense into a, so, some um, data that makes sense to us. So that is why we need to understand uh, how the inertial coordinate, which is, you know, you've got a lot of coordinates, you've got a lot of data into a coordinate that is earthquakes.